Hi, good day. My name is Alex. I'm from Parrot Products and welcome to Parrot Interactive Demo today. <laughs> so basically how this beautiful product behind me works is when you come into your office or your classroom, you open up your laptop, you plug in your HDMI cable, which then reflects the image from the projector onto the board, and then you plug in your USB touch cable, which powers the board as well as a touch. Okay. Um, does everyone know how to use Word, PowerPoint, or Excel? Yes, you can use my product. So I teach Infinity 2 software is free. There's no additional licensing or any additional software that you need to apply to that. Okay. So if I double click in, oh, and what's nice is it comes with two styluses. And if you end up losing the stylus, it takes about 10 tries to lose these. Yeah, I doubt I'll lose both. I doubt I'll lose both, yeah. <laughs> All right. So Teach Infinity 2 is basically a glorified PowerPoint presentation, a very nice way of saying it. And I go and select. You'll see I have my pen. From my pen, I have my different colors. And what is nice is I'm not just reliant on that. I can go in and customize. Okay. So if I go and select, I can choose thickness or thinness, different line types or dotted line. And then if I go in, I can now select my solid line. And this is just to give you more of the solid. From there, we have the intelligent pen. So your intelligent pen mimics what shapes you want to write. So for those that have a terrible handwriting, there is luck for you after all. Okay. From there, we have your highlighter. So your highlighter is very much like a highlighter, where you get to choose your colors, your thickness, thinness, lightest, darkest. I know those are the words we've been using today. Where you can either go and color in, or you can go and highlight specifics. From there, we have the laser pen. So your laser pen just draws attention to what it is that you want to discuss. Yeah, and also for board meetings, we go, your sales has not been reached in the big red circle. <laughs> From there, we have the brush pen. So your brush pen is very much like a brush or like a crown. So if I go and select, and you can see how nice and responsive it is. From there, we have hand recognition. So what is nice, especially with teachers in your lower grades, they have the teacher's pet, which is a font that they can pull through. So please note, whatever's on my laptop reflects onto the board. The board is just basically a second touch screen. So any applications, games, or anything, it comes from your laptop itself. So I can go and choose my different font type. Unfortunately, it doesn't do Afrikaans, but if you want to teach the kids Korean or Japanese, you're on the right place. <laughs> Not to <do> either. <laughs> You got 1.2s, 1.5s. This is how much seconds it takes from you writing for it to convert. Okay? If I go. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> then, from there, we have the quick button to call it. And if you see, there's a plus button. If there's a plus button, you currently have texture pins already saved onto a desktop, you're able to bring it in that way. Okay? So I can go and choose the thickness or thinness, and when you use it, you must go, ooh, pretty, even the men. Okay. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> from there, we have the bamboo pen. Then from there, we have the bamboo pen. So your bamboo pen is very much like a calligraphy pen. So for all those teachers that do have a beautiful handwriting, you can come in and do your cursive writing. From there, we have the stamp pen. So again, what does the plus button mean? Uh, you can add in. So if you've got emojis or smiley faces or anything like that already said, you're able to bring it in. And with that, I'm going to give you a beautiful thumbs up to say, great job. From there, we have a playback button. So this playback button plays everything currently already done on your page. Okay? You can slow it down. You can fast forward it. So this is nice, for instance, let's say you had English first period, and you've written out an entire essay. Then second period, you've got math. What do you do? You rub it out. In third period, you've got second class English, and now you've got to rewrite that essay. This is nice because now you can push play. You can now go give those kids one-on-one. -on -one. When last has a teacher been able to give one-on-one, -on -one? besides COVID? They haven't. Why? Because they're always in front of the classroom. I was normally that kid. <laughs> they needed that extra help. <laughs> All right. Then... We have four kinds of erasers. The very first one, delete whatever the nib or finger touches. The second one, delete whatever the line touches. Your third one, delete all the freehand text. This means something that hasn't converted to something else. Then the last one, clears the entire page. 
Oops, gone too far. There's a backspace button. Whoever came up with that, I thought it was really, really clever. Okay. Okay. Then you're on the right hand side, you'll see there's a plus button, which means I can go and add more pages. If I go into my square, these are shapes that are really pre done for you. So if you can go and select sideline colors, your outline, and your full color, where is that? Your full color is your inside. So I can go. To move it, I then select my cursor because your cursor is very much like your mousey. Where I can go and move those quite nice. Go back into my square. I'll go and choose a solid line. You'll see the icon change, and this just allows me to move it. So this is either for mind map or diaphragm or anything like that. If I go into my pen, a bit smaller, I can now go my fold. Okay. Any questions? All good. Okay. Your square with your arrow pointing in, this means I'm taking something outside of Teach Infinity and bringing it in. So if I go and select my text bar, you'll have a look that it comes up. Select my keyboard and I can go and write whatever I want to write. What is nice is I'm not just relying on the board, I can still go to my keyboard and type on my keyboard. Okay? If you wanted to, it's correct. From there, we've got a puzzle piece. What do you do with a puzzle piece? You take a piece of puzzle and you bring it into a bigger piece of the puzzle. So if I go and select this, this is now taking um, video, rich content that I currently have saved on my desktop and bringing it in. So normally what happens is, if you're busy with a Word document and now you have to show a video, you have to pose off the Word document and open up something else. Whereas with this, I can bring in my rich video content, discuss it, oh, this is quite vital information. I'm going to take a screenshot of that, bring it down, select my pen, make my notes, save it and send it while my video is still playing in the background. Now I don't need to close off everything, I can bring everything into one application, save it and then send it. So you can capture important content while everything is still being Correct. The video hasn't got sound, but we do have a sound bar that comes with the solution as well, so your sound will play like it would normally. The next one we have is Excel, where you can choose how many columns and how many rows you want. There we go. Okay. If I go and select the blue dot, I'm able to merge cell, insert row, and so forth. I prefer to use Excel in general because I am a person that really, really likes it. But this is nice for people that just want the basics. So it's just like your standard template of Excel. Table. Correct, yeah. Right. Then, uh, any surfers here except my brew? No, no shop Does no. anyone know what GeoGebra is? <laughs> no. no. Well, in my th yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> that is actually funny enough. So, in my three years of giving training, I've only known of five people. I call it university level maths. It's called GeoGebra, which is algebra and geometry in one. So, it takes y equals 2x, it puts it on a graph, and then, like a tornado, it comes in, it then takes you out as well. Okay? All right, then. If I come into the side, my circle with the three lines, I have three subject choices, maths, physics, and chemistry. If I go into file, I'm able to save as a Teach Infinity 2 software, or I can import and export. If I go export, I'm able to save this document as a Word, a PowerPoint, or Excel. Why? Because we're more comfortable seeing that than what we are a new program itself. That's pretty cool. It is quite cool. Right, then if I go into print, I can print each page individually or a full entire page, uh, everything that's on the right hand side. Or if I go send by email, I'm able to email individual pages or the full page itself. As an attachment? As an attachment, if you want to, or each individual. So that's nice for your email. Then if I go and select help, there's a manual. Um, with the manual, you can print it. It's about seven pages back to front, so you always have something on hand. We do have a YouTube video where, okay. then if I go back in, I'm now going to select my three subject choices, maths, physics, and chemistry. Maths, you'll see the little icon change where I can now go in and select my different shapes and angles. And anything with the green dot means it can be moved. Anything with the green dot means it can be moved. If I go and select that, what does the green dot mean? Mm -hmm. It can be moved. And you'll see the degrees moves as well. The next is physics and chemistry. I know in our South African schools we don't have those subjects, 
Um, but what's nice is the icons that's in there is for you to literally play with. Okay. So if I go and select physics, you'll see the little icon change. Where I can now go in and create a little pool. Was it green dot mean? And then removed. Oopsie. Okay. There, anyone know what that big boy on top is called? Linear. Yes. So again, green dot means it can be moved, even though this might not be something you will use. It's nice to play with the icons and see what best works in your subject choices. That's so, exactly the math literacy or, or even German. Exactly. So my colleague Cameron, when he does training, so how positive I am when he does training, he then comes in and he creates a little circuit. He takes a light bulb, a light switch, and a battery, and he connects it all. He switches the switch, and the light bulb goes on. I'm not going to do that. We're really at ESCOM problems. I don't want to make it worse. <laughs> <laughs> not power shortages. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> From there, we've got chemistry. Okay. So as you see, the little icon change. You've got all your different um, equipment. That's all. Okay. So, what does the green dot mean? Mm -hmm. Can be moved. Where you can go and choose your liquid. How we all look before lockdown, how we all look now after lockdown. <laughs> if I select the top, you can actually see that and the liquid that moves I as well. I won't yeah. spoil. My daddy taught me very well. <laughs> okay. So, I had a teacher that liked this very much. He went and done the different liquids. He went in, selected his highlighter. He then highlighted. Uh, he then took, he obviously had time, he made it nice and pretty. He then went in and then he coloured it. Then he said to the kids, please do me a favour. How much liquid is in here compared to here, compared to here? Again, it might not be something that we use, but the icons are there to just enhance your lesson. Yeah. Alright, the next one is, remember when we were little, we had these little brown briefcases, because you're showing my age now. Yeah? Yeah. So <laughs> open it up. Whenever I look at that, that's what I think of. Mm -hmm. And in okay. there is all my tools. Mm -hmm. If I go and select that, anyone know what that is? There's normally a pencil sticking out of it. Compass. Protractor. 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 If I go and select the green dot, it means it can be moved. If I lift that up, select the red dot, it gives me my perfect circumference. Okay. Mass teachers, I apologize up front. If I go and select that, I now have my perfect puck man. I never did maths at school. <laughs> That's pie. <if> I correct. <laughs> Let's select my cursor. Then, if I go and select the next one, is our right angle where I can now go in, make my lines. I can rotate it as well. Then say to the kids, please do me a favor. What is the measurements of that? I know it is wrong, but we're just using it as an example of. Okay. Or the math teacher going there, but that's not right. Oh, no, 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 I don't <laughs> the next one is the ruler where all the teachers go mad about. You can move it anywhere on the page. You can make it longer or shorter. And you know the night before uh, where you have a glass of wine, you come to work and your hands are a little bit shaking? Yes, of course. No matter where you write on the board, you have the perfect line. Okay? I'm a bit OCD, so I remember with the other rulers, if I had to draw a line, I'd be drawing, erasing, drawing, erasing. It would drive me insane. Well, now I can also rotate and then draw my lines. The next one is the Kradenburg compass. Yes. Anything with a green dot means? So there it gives me my perfect circumference. And if I go and select that, it then gives me my perfect angle. Bring it up, select my pen, and tell the kids to work that out for me. The degree. The degree, okay. yes. Okay. Then, go back to my top page. We have the curtain mode and the spotlight mode. So if I go and select the spotlight mode, what is nice with the spotlight mode is I can move it anywhere on the board. Yeah. I can make it bigger or smaller and only focus on specifics. From there, we have the curtain mode. So let's say, for instance, we had a Word document. How fast was Bob run? Everyone? Discuss, discuss, discuss. Bob, Bob runs, runs very fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where you can show only the answers or show only the questions. We also have a crop button, which allows you to then hide just the answer. Okay. After this will be a 20-page essay, 200 words per questions and five minutes to do it in. And no pressure, we have a clock for that. Okay. You can't change the time. 
<laughs> no pressure. That would have helped in my family candle. It would have more. <laughs> we also have a stopwatch as well as a counter up and a counter down. So this is nice for the kids that's learning how to tell time. This is how time counts backwards. Or for instance, they have a little five minutes to do short time or a task or something like that. It just keeps them on track. Then from there, the kids that couldn't visually see what a cube looks like. I went to school the one day where the kids got given an A4 page and they had to cut it up and, draw and make a cube. They actually really, really struggled because they couldn't visually see it. I'm a visual person, you need to show me. Yeah. yeah. Or they had a little cube in the front of the class and trying to show everyone or maybe a little bit bigger. It was just very difficult. Whereas with this, nice and big, I can rotate the cube. I can give the cube a spin. Oh. I can give it a solid color as well as go and select certain parts of the cubes. Now the kids can visually see what it looks like. If I go back in, we've got that guy, you've got the sphere, your cylinder, your cone, your triangle, or your pyramid, your three, four, five, and six, as well as that guy, your three, four, five, and six. Okay. Then from there, we have our flip cards. So what's nice with the flip cards is front and the back. Front, do I want to do a text or do I want to do a picture? I'm going to do a picture. And then from there, the back, I'm going to write a text. Select the keyboard. I'm going to say cake because I like cake. From there, I'm going to save. And now I'm going to preview. So we can either go 1 plus 1 equals, no matter what grade you're in. You can have a question. Everyone discuss, discuss, discuss. How do you spell cake? C-A-K-E. Hey, that's funny. Oh, that's a good word for your speeches, your cue cards. Yes, exactly. Yes, you can use it for anything like that. All right, then I'm going to go back up to my top page. Then over here, we have the magnifying glass. So what's nice with this magnifying glass, I can make it bigger or smaller. We are now have an infinity whiteboard. I can go and select my pen, make my notes, bring it down over here, make my notes on that. It's a letter, as an example of. And if I go and select my hand, my hand then allows me to move the text all together. Back into my magnifying glass, if I select this, it then pre it to what it originally was. But my information is still sitting. Then, if I go and select my page number, it then removes my sidebar, but I'm still able to go through my pages as need be. Okay, I'm going to go into new page. Then, for the teachers that missed their green board, don't worry, we did think of you. Okay, and can anyone give me an idea why I have these different colors? I promise you there's no wrong answers. For the kids sitting at the back who can't see with the last few days. Yes, so you've got the kid that's busy squinting because it's a very bright day. Um, this is called a pure color, which obviously just makes the eyes a little bit easier for the kids to see. Kids that are colorblind can pick up their yep. colors, also a nice one. And teachers that just want to make their pages pretty. Let me, I think, yes, color palette, you can then also go and customize that. From there, we have the pretty backgrounds for the teachers that like the prettiness. And then if I go and select my disciplines, we have our lines, our graphs, and all the wonderful little things. So I had a teacher that liked this very much. The only thing is she wanted to add another line in. What she did is she took a ruler, she brought it down, she always had time and made it nice and pretty. She then went in, uh, selected, copied, and then she copied her slides. So when she came in the next day, she saved it. She saved as lines. So when she came in, she double-clicked on lines template, took it out, and then wrote A, C, B, C, C. So it is nice that you can pre-plan your lessons beforehand. All right. Then, for those that are not yet comfortable using the Teach Infinity 2, why? Because it is something new and scary. Okay? If I go into PowerPoint, so Word, PowerPoint, Excel, your latest Windows, if you go into a button review and you go start inking, it automatically opens up a pen tray for you, which means you can now go in, make your notes, save it, and send it. Okay? But for those that like Teach Infinity to white, because it's got a lot more pretty and things to it, I'm now able to import PDF and PowerPoint presentation. So with the three lines, files, and import. 
was my file over there. Uh, it does take a while, so if it's a 54-page uh, PDF, I advise you to cut it down to maybe four or five. Um, so I don't think the kids would wait for the file to start up. Okay. There. As an example, I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. If I come back into my briefcase, we. There we go. So if I go and push record, I bring it down. Good day, everyone. Welcome. I'm now going to make my notes on my page. I'm going to go on to my next one as an example, and I'm going to tick it off. If I come here on my right-hand side, you'll see there is a screen with a little pen. What this does is it now minimizes my teaching infinity too. And that's why I've been open. Open up my teaching infinity too. So it minimizes my teaching infinity to full meeting. I do whatever's on my desktop. So if I go in and select color, I can now go in and make my notes. From there, the second last one looks like a little bride grid. Okay, what do we do when we had a bride? We take photos. So if I go and select that, it automatically takes a screenshot, saves it on my desktop. Okay, uh, let's just go in the name of all that. Then, I now want to go and select something else. I then select my mousey, double click on the Word document, open up my curtain mode, and this is the best day ever. Okay. From there, I'm just going to close everything off and I'm going to go stop. Once I go stop, it automatically saves as an MP4 file, which means I'm now able to WhatsApp this to the kids. So let's all be honest, not everyone has email addresses, but a lot of kids have smartphones, all mommies and daddies do. Yeah. So what you can do is you can save this, you can also edit it on our other version as well, where you can take certain snippets of your lesson. Bobby struggling with 1 plus 1 equals 2. Can't grasp the, 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 how to get it. So what you do is you then save that, you send that to mommy and daddy. Say, mommy and daddy, this is how I've explained it. Maybe you can go and explain it to Johnny and just maybe assist him a little bit more. So my son always got confused between F and E. So I said to him, imagine there's an uncle standing there in a black suit and a little long black hat. And when he jumps, he goes, <laughs> So now whenever he spells something, <laughs> As an example of it, it's the cutest thing, but that is how he remembers it because we find a way that I know would best work with him. Again, it's giving that control back to teachers. Guys, now, so if you feel, for example, now you feel sick or you can't sit in class, you can actually send it to your students themselves. Correct. Correct. Oh, that's cool. And that is. Thank you very much for your time.